Hello and welcome to From the Roots Up. Also welcome to day one of 12 days of homemade Christmas. Today, we're gonna show you how to make hot chocolate on a stick. That's right, this is a super simple and super cute little craft gift. Uh, bundle it up. These make um, just wonderful little gifts to distribute, hand out. If you've got um, friends, people at church, the kids have teachers at school and you need several things to give out, um, we're going to mix up these little hot chocolate on a stick, put it in a cute bag, decorate it, and uh, it's just going to be so much fun. And it's so simple, even if you have little bitty helping hands, uh, they will be able to participate in this. So uh, what we're gonna do is just a few very simple steps. What's our main ingredient, Taylor? Chocolate. Chocolate. Who doesn't like chocolate, right? Especially if you stir it up into a drink and drink it on those cold winter days. Um, we're actually going to be using a mixture of semi-sweet and milk chocolate. We're going to put ours in this fancy little Wilton Chocolate Pro chocolate melter, uh, just because that's what we happen to have if you have a double boiler. Um, that would be a great way to do this without like, cooking your chocolate. And if you don't have any of that, do it in the microwave. Just do it in spurts. Give it about a minute, stir it, put it back in 30 seconds, stir it. And, and just keep checking it instead of throwing it in there all at once because the sides will will cook and bake while the center is still trying to get gooey and just make sure you stir it a lot. But um, we're gonna use this little Wilton chocolate crock pot basically. The next thing we're gonna need when our chocolate melts is a mold, something to put it in. And you can use lots of things for this. Um, grab those ice trays real fast, Taylor. We're just going to use basic ice trays just simple little normally you fill them with water um, they stack we're not going to be able to stack them for what we're doing but um, this is this is what we're going to use for our mold um, if you have a mini muffin pan uh, that would be about the right size as well if all you have is a regular muffin pan you can still do it you just you're not going to fill them up all the way because they're, <laughs> they're going to be huge. Um, you would want to do probably about a third of it, but uh, it's going to work better if you have something smaller. Uh, these, by the way, are super cheap. Uh, if you don't have ice trays at all and you want to do this, you can go to just the dollar store uh, and grab some. We're going to use three of them because that gives us 48 if our chocolate even goes that far. Um, and that's because the little popsicle sticks and the cute little bags to put them in come in 50 packs. Uh, and so we're gonna see if we can fill up all three um, molds, okay? So we're gonna melt the chocolate, we're gonna pour the chocolate in, and then Taylor, what comes next? Sprinkles and marshmallows. Sprinkles and marshmallow decorations. While uh, the chocolate is still in gooey, mostly molten form, um, we're going to take and we're going to decorate and add a little bit of fun. And so we have some candy sprinkles. Um, you can use regular cake topper sprinkles. We found some Frosty the Snowman peppermint crumbles. Uh, another thing that you can do is grab some peppermint candies or some candy canes and just break them, crunch them up into little pieces uh, and use those to sprinkle on top. But this uh, will give your hot chocolate a little bit of a peppermint kick. Uh, we probably won't put that on all of them. That way we have different flavors. Some of them will be peppermint. Um, we've also got some marshmallows and uh, we'll, we'll drop those on. They'll stick in because who doesn't like marshmallows? floating in their hot chocolate. And after we do all that, we'll take our sticks and stick them down in and, uh, and basically make popsicles. We'll set it in the freezer and give it a chance to harden. So uh, the first thing we're gonna do is open up our chocolate chips. Um, you can just use milk chocolate. You can do like we're doing, a mixture. You can get white chocolate. You can get pick um, whatever flavor that you want. But uh, we're going to, I'm not sure, if I can put two full bags in this at once. So I'm gonna start with about half. What? I said put how much will fit in that and then I'll eat the rest. And you'll just eat the rest. So I'm gonna say that's 
probably not the best way to do this. <laughs> Yeah, eat them all at once. Oh, okay. Well, we'll just set them aside, reserve them as tailors. Yeah, okay, that's that's about half, maybe a little more than half of two bags. So one, one full bag if you're not mixing them um, for something about this size. And we'll, we've got to just turn this on and let it, uh, let it get warm first. So, we're going to let these start melting and we'll be back in just a couple of minutes. All right, you've done whatever you need to do to melt your chocolate. For us, it was go have dinner while our little chocolate crock pot warmed away. Um, so what's the next step, Taylor? Pouring it into these things. We're just going to get it into these. Um, this is really the chance to make a mess, but uh, we're going to just use a spoon and drip it in and try not to string it everywhere. Um, I'm afraid if we, we've got a nice little handle and a sort of a pour spout, but I'm afraid that that's just going to let too much run in and overflow. So all we're gonna do is take and start dipping chocolate in. Um, now, in theory, this is not going to harden uh, until we put it in the freezer. Um, but if it takes a long time to fill these up, it will start drying. Um, and that's okay. But if we take too long, our sprinkles and stuff are not gonna stick in it is really the only problem. All right, here is one of our trays. Uh, we're gonna show you the next step. Let me move the camera in. And Taylor is gonna start decorating. All right, so putting some marshmallows on this side, I'm going to next just go in and put some sprinkles on the rest of them and have some with marshmallows, some with sprinkles, and some with a little bit of both. So we're going to do that, and then we are going to get the rest of these other two trays done off camera. And then we will do the next step, which is freezing them. And one more thing, before they go in the freezer, we're going to stick in these popsicle sticks so that you can stick it in the hot chocolate. All right, this is it. Next, we gotta put them in the freezer for 20 to 30 minutes or however long it takes for the chocolate to dry freeze completely. After that, we will move on to the next step. All right, this first tray um, was in the freezer right at 20 minutes and I gave them just a little a little finger test to see the, the chocolate is hard enough that the sticks don't move. And so I think, I hope <laughs> that they're ready to go. Um, so we're gonna take these and I'll get a, I'll get a close up here in a second. I'm just gonna kinda, kinda flex this plastic tray a little bit like you do ice. And they pop out pretty easily. All right, so the last thing that we're gonna do is we have these little candy bags that we're going to put them in. And they fit in super easily. And then you can seal them up. You can use um, twist ties or pretty much anything you have, or you can decorate them up with some ribbon, or like if you have like a bow or something, that can be really pretty, or a name tag. And these are super fun, super easy to make. And that is the last step. So there is our little hot chocolate on a stick, and it's done. 
And there you go, that wraps up day one, hot chocolate on a stick. When you use these or gift them to someone, um, it's very simple, all they do is stick it in a mug of warm milk. Um, not water, this isn't like the, the Swiss Miss packages that you mix into hot water because those have dehydrated milk in them already, um, but a warm glass of milk. Or if somebody wants to use these in their coffee, uh, that might give you ideas for different flavors, different things, maybe melt some caramel instead of chocolate. And uh, drop this in and just use the stick to stir it until they are ready to go. Um, you could take and you could make this a gift set by putting it in a mug to give them, or um, you could bundle some together, or you could just have them as individual handouts uh, for people. Super cute, super easy, super fun. Day one of 12 days of homemade Christmas in the bag. Thank you for joining us, stay tuned. We've got lots left to go. And if you enjoy this content or got any value of it, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.